All right, haven't put a video together in a little while because, uh, well, the stuff I'm doing is pretty boring, actually. It's nothing exciting. It's just putting sheet metal panels in the wheel wells. Uh, I've got this quarter panel welded on here, welded on here. Got my little patch cover cut out for this. Gonna have to weld that in. Done some more cardboard templates, lots of cardboard templates. Turned them into sheet metal. Now I'm just gonna set this one down inside of here so that I can take this all from a nice curved edge, rounded, hard to follow edge to a straight edge that I can follow with the sheet metal up over the wheel well like I did on the other side of the car. And uh, check out the other side of the car and uh, I'll show you some more of this later on in the video probably. Now that I've got my transmission cooler, mount, panel, bracket, whatever you want to call it in place, I have a place to work to when I'm doing my inner fender liner. So I'm gonna start my inner fender liners by figuring out how to put the old bodywork to the new bodywork, and that's gonna be done with this little lip right here just coming out flat, and then everything's gonna work off of that. Uh, right now, all I've got in here is a nice little place to set my drink on. This was a gift from my son and my daughter-in-law. Thank you very much, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a little bit of cutting, the non-sparky type cutting. Then we're gonna do some sparky type cutting, and we're gonna end up with a sheet metal panel in here that'll keep all the mud and dirt on the tire, falling back out of here on the ground. I don't know, but at least it'll keep it out of the engine compartment and not fill this little hole up with dirt. I hope. Well, let's get on with it. And while we're making effort to keep dirt and water from being slung up inside of here by the tire, we also need to think about the fact that air is gonna be carried in through this side duct and it's gonna drop all the water out of the air right down in here. And this was never intended to have water in it. It was at one time the interior of the car. So what I'm gonna to have to do is drill a couple small holes somewhere right about in here and towards the front of this to drain water out of there. And then my concern is doing something with those holes to keep those holes from rusting out, but I'll figure something out. Yep, that should work. That should be a good spot right there. Shouldn't end up drilling through too many layers of metal. I don't want to end up drilling a hole in the frame tube and actually having the water drain into it. So this, this better work. All right, I'm gonna go up inside and see what it looks like. All right, that's where the hole came through at. Looks like it's pretty close to the lowest point. I'll be drilling another hole near the front too. And I'll also be filling that little split between the two pieces of metal with some kind of fill, I don't know, maybe some real thin epoxy or something will flow down in that so that water doesn't sit in that little crack. Well, this better be in the right place because I've welded it on right there and there and uh, it's not going to be easy to move if I need to move it. So I need to put this into position. I made this nice little panel right here. Got it all primed up. I just got to get everything clamped into place. A whole bunch of spot welds. And next time you see this thing, it'll probably be welded in or at least have a bunch of clamps on it. And here we have our cardboard template cut out to the right size and shape and with a little bit of magic from the right tools. Ta-da, simple as that. Well, the inner fender well is progressing. Now what I gotta do is work on the back half of it. Well, the back half of the actual arch of it. Then I'm gonna have to work on closing this in up to the uh, strut tower. Anyway, what I'm trying to figure out right now is do I want to make this all in one piece? Do I want to make this, you know, one piece up to about here and then another piece here? This right here will be a second section. But figuring out exactly which, how to make these pieces, cardboard flex is pretty good. I mean, it, it'll do this, but the sheet metal isn't going to want to do this. So uh, I'm going to work on that for a little bit, and then I'll be back with a cardboard template, maybe. Hmm, doesn't fit. Let's see, something like that. Straight up on that side, curve on this side. 
cut it about here, about that far down. Well, that's the general idea of what I'm trying to do. Just keep trimming and checking and I think it'll get there. I think it'll get there. Well, it's looking pretty good. Um, got to trim it off a little along the top there. Have to add a little bit right here. I've got a flange right here that I'm going to uh, plug weld to that pole. The uh, bottom contour I still haven't exactly figured out. Pretty much straight across from the bottom of this to the outer edge. I think that's going to work. My plan right here for this outer section that goes to the outer filler panel bump or whatever is that uh, I don't really have a plan right now. That's my plan. I'm just going to leave this pretty much that shape right there and then I will figure this out later. Good plan. Trace the pattern out on a piece of sheet metal. Close enough. Now all you gotta do is cut it out. I don't know how well this is going to work, but this is the first fit here. Well, after pulling it out and trimming it one time up here and right here, I'm real close to fitting, but I did not allow for this right here. I just need to trim that little corner off so it'll clear that, so I need to kind of cut that. All right, final attempt. It's hard to get a good camera angle and not be in the way of the camera when you're working in such tight spaces, but let's see if this thing fits. It's over that, under that, inside of that, most of the way. Just got to go up over this. Hmm. It's in. Holy cow. I think it's going to work. A little bit of a gap here. Might have to go a little deeper on that. Still got to fit all this across the top of here. That's going to work out fine. I'm going to have to trim this edge back a little bit right here so that all this is parallel right along here when I put that piece of sheet metal up to the top. Think it'll work? 
Just a little more shaping. And after some more sheet metal shaping, some more welding, and of course repeating cardboard templates and some sheet metal cutouts, tacking it all together with the welder, I end up with a completed inner wheel well that I believe will keep the dirt, mud, rocks, and water out of the engine compartment. I'll just get this set in here, kind of straight with the world this way, and kind of tilt it down to the outside so any water that gets on top of it will drain off of it so it won't just be a puddle of water sitting up here and uh, yeah this is a lot of fun a lot of fun getting this stuff lined up just pushed into position and will that clamp fit in there maybe maybe not uh, sort of something else you might have noticed it's gotten cold here too well cold for my area it's getting down to 30 degrees at night probably about 50 right here in the shop right now that just might work maybe yeah that looks good looks good when I made the first panel the one for the uh, passenger side I just cut slits in the edge of it and just bent each little piece over and that didn't come out the way I liked it so what I did to make this one is just cut two pieces of three quarter inch plywood, the shape of the panel, bolted it together with three bolts, and then just used a hammer to hammer form the sheet metal over the edge of my form. Worked out pretty good. I had to cut a few little slits in it to uh, kind of shrink the metal in the tightest part of the curve. Put a few welds on that, cut out a few more pieces of sheet metal, and eventually I might have this sealed off so that dust, dirt, and water don't get in the engine compartment. Alright, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.